I wanted to share some things that I had learned while working on the rear wiper motor for an 83 SC and the fairly simple operation, but um, can be a little perplexing on the four wire system that has a switch in the front of the car that we'll get to in just a minute. But the, the four wire connections and there's slip on blade type connections is uh, the first one here is a ground. The second one, the red wire is full time connected to the fuse, uh, the top fuse there, which is connected to the battery. Disregard the rest of that fuse block down there, but it's uh, connected full time to the battery. Some previous owners have done some rewiring, so uh, don't don't pay attention to that uh, relay panel down there, except that the red wire goes to the top fuse in the back and it is direct to the battery. The other two, the brown with the yellow and the red with the black, go to the front of the car and we'll get to that in a minute and it's used for switching. So brown, solid red, brown with a yellow, and red with a black tracer. Now mine change color as they're going from the back to the front of the car. And uh, that offered a little bit of confusion, but I've labeled them here in the front. I have the switch out of the dash. It's a little toggle switch, goes in the dash. I have the switch out of the dash to do the wiring, but I thought I would offer um, how it is wired. So the switch is a little not intuitive when it's pressed in the off position here, it is making contact between this white wire and the brown wire. I'll come back to what those are in a minute. And when it is in the on position, those two are disconnected and these two are connected. So this is um, a red with a white and a red with a black. They do not necessarily correspond uh, directly to what's in the back. This white wire at the front of my car is, is actually the direct connect to the brown with the yellow at the back. So that white on my car is a brown with the yellow at the back at the, at the wiper motor. And the uh, other one that is coming in that is at the front of the car it's at my car, it's solid red, but it's the rear wiper red with a black. That red with a black and brown with a yellow is what these two are. When they get to the front of the car, they've changed colors. The um, red with the black has a diode and it's very important to note the direction of the diode. Um, the direction of the diode is, is actually feeding power um, from the um, uh, from the, the switch which is a, a switched this this red with a black goes to fuse position number 12 in, in mine I'm calling it 12 it's I, I'm counting from the front of the car I think Porsche counts the other way but there are 21 fuses one two three five six seven eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. You see the red with the black there on fuse number 12. This fuse operates only in the run start position, does not operate in accessory. So the rear wiper will not come on um, in the accessory position. It will in the run start only. And that's because of this fuse. So this is going, um, this, this red with a black tracer just uh, routes around and uh, it, this is the same wire. It comes back up to the back of the switch and then it is carrying power through the switch, which is in the on position right now. So in the on position, these two are making contact. These two are not in the off position these two are making contact 
and these two are not. Again, I tell you, it's, it's not intuitive. It looks like it would be the other way around. But the uh, power then flows through the diode, a one-way valve, if you want to think of it that way, through the diode, back to the back of the car, to where it is reaching the red with a black at the back of the car. So um, the, the other is the yellow, brown with a yellow at the back of the car, which by the time it gets up here to the front of the car, it's white. Um, oddly, it seemed odd to me, when the power is in the, um, uh, when it's in the off position, that wire is connected to ground. It goes, it goes to this brown ground which is actually attached on the side over here. That threw me off a little bit. And it has to do with the diode and the toggling that goes on inside that wiper motor. I have a temporary setup for a little bit of uh, power. And I've got the battery out of the car. I have a switch. And I've got power on. I have a switch. Um, the switch is in the on position as indicated by that LED. And I'll turn it off and then back on, and then I'll go to the ignition. Seats are out because I'm adding a sound system. I'll go to the ignition, and I will turn it to the um, accessory position first. Turn it to accessory. You hear a few things go. There, that's accessory. And in the accessory position, the rear wiper does not work, or does not come on. It's not supposed to. When we go to the on-run position, we toggle the switch. Oh, and if we remember to close the tea tray lid, we don't scratch the car. And if we turn the switch to the on position, it's rocking back and forth. I need to, I think I'm off by about a spline. It, it doesn't park dead to that side, but it parks in the same position each time. I turn it off and it goes off. And if I flip the switch, in mid-stroke, it goes back to the park position, no matter what. So that's the key, is that it's going back to a park position. In my particular case, I need to move this over, I think, about a spline on there. I hope that's helpful to you, and I'm going to show a picture of the circuit um, that we were just talking about and really only need to pay attention to the motor and the, this is the switch, this is the diode. And so in my case, this was fuse number 12, a hot fuse, when the key is in the run or start position. And the diagram is shown in the off position. I've noted off here. The diagram is shown in the off position. So let's look at it static. So if, um, if, it's, if, it is, if the switch is off, but the key is in the hot start run position, then you'd have power down to here, but the switch would be, that would be open. And the brown um, ground wire that is connected to the switch and the um, brown, in my case, brown with yellow that comes from the back, those would be connected. Um, the um, power flow, if you if you turn it on, you turn the switch on, you power flow, this would be connected, this would be disconnected um, in the on position. So then we're going to go down, power flow, power is going to flow through the diode, kind of a one-way valve, you know, a diode. Um, and then it will go uh, through here, through the brushes of the motor, 
and to ground. And so the motor would be running in that case. Um, when, the, uh, when the switch goes to the off position, the, um, uh, the, the, the switch would open, uh, excuse me, would, would open here, would close here. And the, the cam inside the motor operates a toggle between the um, red and black at the motor and the brown with a yellow. This is brown with white, mine's brown with yellow. And the red, the red is solid um, power all the time. So if the, um, if the cam is in this position, the motor will automatically get power and go, go back uh, until it cycles and it will go back to the park position. So um, I hope that's been somewhat helpful. I'm, I'm sorry that uh, it is a little wandering. This was another diagram and uh, off the side is the ground that is uh, um, the positive, the switch positive in the ground on the, on the two position switch. Um, the diode is shown in line again. And these colors are, I believe, in uh, German lettering. So RT with SW, I think it was red with uh, um, black, SW being uh, the, the, the black. And um, so it's, it's pretty much the it's same diagram, but I kind of verification on that one. I don't know um, if that explanation is helpful to you or not. You're welcome to post up. But uh, this tiny little switch is very important in uh, operating the, the uh, um, rear wiper. Uh, it has smaller than, smaller than typical blade kind of connectors and these uh, little um, small harnesses. So I'll need to put this switch in the dash first noting, of course, what the positions of these wires are on my particular car. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll put them through the dash, um, then reconnect the switch on that side of the dash, and then it just presses in. It just popped out and just presses in to its spot. Um, its spot on the dash in my particular case, right there. Well, I uh, hope that's helpful to you, and I hope you are successful in making your rear wiper work well. Good luck.